Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, especially to our HMPE 213 instructor, Mr. Rolando Laurenti Jr. I am Sheila Mayber now, and we are Team Delicioso. And in this video, we are going to discuss to you the topic entitled Prepare and Present Gouteau, Torts, and Cakes. Traditionally, gouteau and torts are described as a cake or sponge soaked with syrup or liquor and layered with fillings such as buttercreams, fresh creams, mousses, ganache cheese, custards, fruits and jellies, and can include pastries such as puff pastry, short pastry, chaw pastry, and meringue based baked goods. It is also interpreted as individual decorated wedge of layered cake. Gouteaux in France refer to all cakes and pastries of a certain size, usually bigger than one portion. Modern gouteaux and torts finishing includes products which are glazed, masked, sprayed, covered, or coated with chocolate, marzipan, fresh creams, icings, or butter creams. Decorations should be suited to the texture of the cake so that the customer can experience creamy, crispy or crunchy, and fruity. Traditionally, gouteau and torts were decorated by the slice. Due to the high labor cost and introduction of plated design and decorations when serving cakes or gouteaux, this is no longer required. Nevertheless, some traditional cakes may require individual slice decorations. Today, the terms are interchangeable and are grossly used to the market to product the specialty cake. Like most of the product in pastisserie, eye appeal and flavor of the product are vital to the success of selling and customer satisfaction. There are endless possibilities to create new textures, flavors and combinations and individuality is recognized by the consumer. Gouteau can be produced in slab and the slice individually produced in a small sizes, approximate 5 to 6 cm. The smaller sizes are commonly called French pastries which refer to individual portion size cakes. Okay, for us to fully understand about uh, terminologies used in presenting and preparing the tall cakes and torts, here are some culinary terms related to sponge and cakes. First is agar agar, setting agent derived from seaweed, much stronger than gelatin and harder to use. It is more stable, vegetarian alternative to gelatin. Second is allergen, a substance that is foreign to the body and can cause an allergic reaction in certain people. Third, compound chocolate. Baker's chocolate made with cocoa moss and vegetable fat. It can be used without tempering, not as flavor, some, but cheaper and very practical to use. Fourth, coverture chocolate. A good quality chocolate made with cocoa moss and cocoa butter need to be tempered before using as garnish, expensive and best flavor. Fifth is the quas, a cake sponge made with meringue and notch folded through. Sixth, fillings, an insert between of the cake to enhance the taste and the layering of the cake. Seven, French pastries, individual cake or pastries with approximate size of 5 to 6 cm, a term commonly used as assorted French pastries in the industry. 6. Ganache, a chocolate paste filling made from boiling of cream and stirring it into the chocolate. 9. Gâteau, French name given to structured layered cake interspersed with flavored cream or mousse decor applied to sides. 10. Gelatin. Setting agent derived from animal bones and skins, used to stabilize creams. An 11th jelly agent, an agent used to set soft, solid food such as gelatin, agar agar, and pectin. 12. Joconde sponge, a thin sponge suit made from almond or marzipan paste. 13. Kalua, it is a coffee liqueur. 14. Marzipan, almond paste made from icing sugar and almonds. And 15. Mascarpone cheese, 
a cream cheese that has tartaric acid added to give a sour flavor. Fat content will range from 25% to 75% depending on manufacturer. Used in tiramisu dessert. 16. Petite Gâteau It is a small individual case of a larger variety. 17. And the last is the tempering. It is the process of heating, cooling, and warming up chocolate to appropriate temperature to align the cocoa butter crystals, thus setting the chocolate. Good morning everyone, especially to my instructor, Mr. Rolando Laurente. My name is Shara Fitmias and I am here to continue the report of Group 2. The objectives of this report is to identify the ingredients used for a variety of sponge and cakes and classify the purpose and classification of different ingredients. Main ingredients used for a variety of sponge and cakes. First is flour. Flour builds structure of cake and holds other ingredients together. Protein content for cake making in flour should be 7 to 9 percent. Second is sugar. Sucrose is most commonly used sweetening agent in cake making. They become soft in nature because sugar has tenderizing action on flour proteins. Third is shortening. Fats have a tenderizing action on the flour proteins and thus make the cake soft. It helps also keep the cake moist, thus improves the shelf life of the cake. Third is the eggs. It provides structure and moisture to the cakes. Egg improves the taste, flavor, and nutritional value of the cakes. Fifth is the liquid. Milk proteins have binding action on flour proteins which creates toughness in cakes. Enriches the cake nutritionally, like milk and water. It also improves flavor and taste of cake. Water vapor also leavens the cakes, thereby acting as a tenderizer. Sixth is salt. It enhances the flavor of the finished cake. It also improves the crust color of cakes by lowering the caramelization temperature of sugar. Seventh is the flavors. Many ingredients of cake making contribute to the flavors of the cake. Example, sugars, eggs, milk, and milk products, butter, and etc. In certain cakes, fruit juices are used, cocoa, and cocoa products are also included. Eight are the leavening agents. Cakes are leavened by a combination of three different sources. First is the mechanical aeration. While creaming fat and sugar or fat and flour or beating egg with or without sugar. Ingredients used for variety of sponge and cakes are classified as First, essential ingredients and second, optional ingredients. For example, of essential ingredients are flour, sugar, shortening, and eggs. For optional ingredients are leavening, liquids, and flavorings. Ingredients are also classified according to the function which they perform in cake making. Structure builders, for example, flour, eggs, milk, tenderizers, for example, shortening, sugar, and leavening, and moisture, moisteners, such as liquids and eggs. Second is the chemical leaveners. They, these make cake products porous and light. The third factor for leavening the cakes is water vapor. Next topic is select correct oven conditions for baking sponges and cakes for gâteaux, torts, and cakes. Oven settings for cakes, solid heat of 150 degrees Celsius to 180 degrees. Celsius will depend on cake size and thickness. Oven should be solid heat or bring to temperature and stabilize by holding at this temperature for 15 to 20 minutes before placing cakes in oven. Next is to prevent premature coloring of cake surfaces. They may be covered with sheets of clean paper or a baking tray may be placed on top of the cakes for approximately 50% of the baking time. To test when cakes are baked, Use a thermometer to determine the internal temperature. The baking process is complete when the center of the product has reached gelatinization temperature or 87 Celsius to 90 Celsius. Further, baking beyond this point will only dry the product and reduce shelf life. Next is a fine skewer may be inserted into the cake which should come out clean if cake is baked. Do not remove cakes from tins until cold to avoid damage. Cold cakes to be wrapped as soon as possible. 
sponge will cook sponge chips or Swiss rolls sponge is thin and it cooks very quickly. In order to keep pliability in the product so it can be rolled, it can be cooked at a higher temperature. Gelatinization and coagulation will happen quicker and there is less drying out of the product. After cooling, it can be molded or rolled easier. Sponge sheets can be baked at 2202 Celsius to 230 Celsius for approximately 7 minutes. Oven conditions may relate to color, shape, and crust structure. So that is the end of my presentation. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Hi everyone, I am Jerry and Hermida Guevano. In today's video, I am going to talk about the classification of the different types of sponge and cakes and prepare yeast fillings. The different types of sponge and cakes, so that there are four main types of sponge cakes and baking. So first, we have biscuit. This type of sponge cake contains both the egg white and yolks in the recipe. They are however first separated with separately egg whites and sugar to make a meringue then mix back together. The resulting foam butter is very light. The biscuit sponge cake is a bit a drier than most sponge cakes but holds its shape very well. It can be used to make just a regular sponge cake for different types of cakes and torts. It can also be used to make Swiss rolls. It is also known to be used while making ladyfinger cookies. This sponge is usually moistened with syrup, fruit juice, or some kind of liquor to give it moisture and flavor. You can use this type of sponge cake in the black or white farce cakes assembly. This type of sponge cake is best decorated using whipped cream frosting as it tends to be lighter in texture. Second, Genoa. This type of sponge cake is made with whole eggs, no separation. This technique is a bit more involved as opposed to the biscuit. Eggs are mixed with sugar and heated over shimmering water, then whipped. You must ensure that you constantly whip the egg mixture so the eggs don't cook and become scrambled eggs. Make sure the bowl you're mixing doesn't come into contact with the water in the pot below. The pot of water should not come to a boil. It should shimmer. With the egg mixture, mixture on top of water about 3 to 5 minutes until the bowl is warm to the touch or until it gets to about 110 degree to 120 degree Fahrenheit or 43 degree to 49 degree Celsius. Whipping the eggs over heat allows them to whip to a greater volume. After the eggs and sugar have doubled or almost tripled in volume, add some melted butter and fold gently, then add the flour and fold. Genoa cakes tend to be light, airy, and a bit moist, but they can also be moistened with syrup for flavoring and to add more moisture. These types of sponge cakes can be used in forest cakes assembly. They are also used as a layer cakes in making a cake called freezer. They are turned into a few layers and filled with fruits, fruit preserves, pastry cream, or frost rings such as whipped cream or meringue butter creams. Angel Fruit Cake This type of sponge cake is made with egg whites alone, no egg yolks. The egg whites are whipped, then a fine granulated sugar is added and whipped until very firm. The flour is, the, is then very gently folded in. This gives a very white, airy, and fluffy cake. It does tend to be dry in texture. This type of sponge can also be moistened with sugar syrup, then filled with whipped cream and also garnish and filled with fruit. They go very well together, the fruit and cream. Next is the chiffon cake. This is a cross between a sponge cake and an oil cake. We refer to it as a sponge cake that cheats. This sponge cake contains both a fat and a chemical raisin agent, oil and baking powder in, in the ingredients list. The eggs are also separated. The white are baked until stiff. All the other ingredients are combined in another bowl to make a smooth butter like a pancake butter. The beaten egg whites are then folded into the fat pancake butter. The result after this mixing process is of a lighter sponge cake texture, but with a rich flavor like butter and oil cakes. These cakes are generally layered and filled with fillings and frosting.
they don't always require decoration, especially when used in bad pots, so you can adjust that some icing sugar on top or drizzle a little bit of glaze. You can however decorate with whipped cream or meringue butter creams if you prefer. You also don't have to wet or moisten the inside of these cakes due to their rich and soft texture. However, you can still do so if you would like for flavor and moisture. These are the top most popular sponge cakes made by most bakers in the industry. Here are some points that should be taken into consideration when choosing a filling for a cake. Number one, think about the kind of the cake and be certain that the filling will complement the cake's flavor. Number two, take into consideration the storage of the cake. Do not select a filling that requires refrigeration when it will not be possible to refrigerate the cake because of its size. Number three, if the cake will be exposed to a warm temperature, such as at a summer picnic, do not choose a filling that will melt or be a safety under those conditions unless it can be stored in a cooler or threat refrigerator. Number four, if the cake must be made a day or so ahead of when it will be eaten, be sure that the filling will hold up to that period of time. Number five, consider the storing different cake filling types. Number six, the amount of filling you need will vary depending on the type of filling, the type of cake, number of layers, and personal preferences. Generally, one half cup of filling per layer should be sufficient. This may be too much if the filling is very rich or you may prefer a little more than one half cup of some fillings but be careful not to add too much causing the cake to become unstable. Good morning everyone, I am Erika Faye Seaboot. There are many cake fillings are you used. There are some points that should be taken into consideration in choosing a filling for a cake. Some of the points are list lesson below <clears throat> consider the flavor of the cake and be sure the filling will complete complement the cake flavor take in into account the storage of the cake do not select a filling that requires refrigeration when it will not be possible to refrigerate the cake because of the of the size <clears throat> excuse me if the cake will be exposed to warm temperature such as a summer picnic do not use feeling that will melt or be a safety threat into those consideration unless it can be st stored into the a color of refrigerator if the cake has to be made a day or so ahead of when Often will it will be eaten. Be sure the filling will hold up for the period of time. For information or storing different cake filling type, see the storage requirements filling store. Custard. Custard filling is a smooth creamy type filling similar to padding. The custard is a Cook filling contains cornstarch flour, flour and egg, yolk, egg yolks. The surface of the custard should be covered with plastic wrap or wax paper to prevent a film from forming while it is cooling. Whipped cream. A, a filling using whipped cream provides a light fluffy filling with a delicate flavor. Whip cream are sometimes st stabilized by adding gelatin to make them hold up better. A cake with whipped cream filling should be refrigerated and sa saved the same day that it, it is made. Frosting. Many times the same frosting used to frost the cakes is used to filling between layers. 
it is a great way to add a flavor of moistness to be to the cake cakes with frosting filling should be stored according to the type of frosting being used Lorinde, I am Livy Jean Casas and for today's video, I am going to discuss about filling assembling cakes and decoration cakes. So what is filling? Filling is a thick mixture which is used between the layer of cake. It may be some of the frosting to which nuts, marshmallow, or foods are added. White cream and custard mix are sometimes used for fillings. The different types of cake filling. First is American buttercream. This is the most used cake filling across the world. Well, simple because it is easy to make and requires only two ingredients which is butter and some icing sugar. You can prepare this filling simply by pouring these ingredients in a bowl and wiping till them that time they become fluffy. Second is Italian Milan buttercream. Well, by the last name of this filling, you can say that is Italian filling is a distant relative to the American buttercream. Actually, in a way, it is the only different. It's that apart from butter is melted sugar syrup and egg whites. Apart from this, it will be the best if you had a mixture stand to pour ingredients at the right. The third is Swiss Meran buttercream. Another of the member buttercream family is Swiss Meran buttercream. This is a fairly similar to the Italian one. The difference in the one is that instead of a mixture stand, a double boiler is used to let egg whites get cooked at the time of preparation of the meringue. Fourth is French buttercream. Unlike Italian meringue buttercream and Swiss meringue buttercream, the French buttercream is made using but butter, granulated sugar, and egg whites. The egg whites give a rich texture to the buttercream and there is no effect on that lightness of the buttercream. The fifth is German buttercream. German buttercream can be named an experimental member of the buttercream family. Well, simple because of the ingredients that go in butter, icing, sugar, egg whites, and some cooked flour. When all these elements come together to make the German buttercream more rich and soft to have. And the sixth is Ermen buttercream. Ermen is that a member of the buttercream that is properly cooked. Ermen is known to use custard like base, flour, take and milk to mix with butter and sugar. There is no egg added in this recipe. The last is chocolate ganache. For a thick and piping friendly, ganache is the most basic and sim simple recipe to follow. It's one of the part of cream to the two parts of dark chocolate. Talking about the texture of this. Next topic is what is decoration cakes. It's the one of the sugar arts that uses icing or frosting and other edible decorative elements to make plant cakes more visual and interesting. Alternatively, cakes can be molded and sculpted to assemble three-dimensional person, places, and things. 7 AC Ideas Decoration Cakes First is fruit. If you are looking for something light and refreshing to give your cake a taste of summer, Fruit is the best choice from fresh raspberries to dried raisins. There are many varied fruits that will be perfect. Second is buttercream and frosting. It doesn't take much to make buttercream, butter icing, sugar, flavored extract, and a few drops of milk. Buttercream is the one of the most popular cake toppings as it can be made into different flavors, different colors. Third is edible flowers. From rose to spring of lavender, give your cake a spring by using flowers to decorate. They make your cake look very pretty and smell floral too. Tie bunches of flowers together. Fourth is chocolates. Whether you pile them up in the middle, cover the whole cake in them or make a pattern like spelling out their names. Your kids are going to love a 
a cake decorated with masses of sharp bow chocolates. Fifth is marshmallows. Melted or whole marshmallows are a simple way to the burn your classic bake into a masterpiece. Pile them high or melt gently on a low heat on the hub and pour over the top of your cake. Six is chocolate fingers and cigarillos. This is a good technique for covering any flaws on your cake. If it is a little burnt around the edges and you've had to cut some bits off, or if it rice as much as you'd like, the chocolate fingers and cigarettes are ready. And the last is sprinkle sharp boat decoration. If you're short on time, the cake decorating aisle at your local supermarket can be a lifesaver. From hundreds and thousands ready to meet fountain roses, you can find a plenty of wonderful treats to turn your cake into an work art. Decide on the type of frosting or icing you'd like to work with if icing a cake. So, it's important to feel comfortable with the frosting or icing techniques required for decorating cakes. So, dapat dahi comfortable ta well mag-bake ta cake. So, there are some of the type frosting or icing styles include. So, first is buttercream or vena cream. This is an easy to, to use frosting that fills gaps and cover up all sorts of unsightly cake bumps and dips. It produces a whipped cream style and appearance and can be smoothed down or allowed to settle in peaks. Buttercream frosting is easy to, to color and flavor with typical flavor including so nag include siya chocolate, vanilla, lemon, coffee, and strawberry. So are sa, sa next is fluffy frosting. This use a frosting created by beating an electric mi mixer. So gamitan is an electric mixer para ma Ma mix it claro. So next is the sugar paste. Sugar paste is roll fondant. So as as we can see in the picture, so more girl siya kuan girl na to ang kuan sugar paste. The next is royal icing. This is uh, similar to sugar paste and it is of, often available ready made. So ang royal icing is a ready made product na diay. So next is pastelage. These icings come from the cake decorating supplier in powder from a very useful for intricate decorating work that you need to to keep in shape. So, kanin din siya, ang pastelage dapat din siya na itong ikip nga, ikip na ito siya in shape. So, para nice siya tanawon. So, pastelage for modeling will need to mix it 50-50 with sugar and paste. So, gimix din na siya 50-50 nga sugar and the paste. So, petal, petal paste. This icing is ideal for making flowers as it, as it produces extremely fine detail. So, ang petal, petal paste kay naha detail yun siya. Dahil ka nang plain yun kay ba? Nga, makita yun na itong good, good nga, idea to slightly dampen nga, your finger with working with the, with this paste. So, dap, ato din gamit nun sa itong kamot. Well, magbuhat aning petal paste. Next is sugar glue. This isn't icing but a glue that allows you to stick together pieces modeled from icing. So, ang glue gamit sa desa sa well mag-decorating ta para mo tick pagod ug pamaayo ang atong i-decorate like mag-decorate ta. So, modeling paste. This is a combination of sugar paste mixed with tagangat gum to make an edible modeling paste. So, ang modeling paste naghan na sa desa gamit nga nasa sa isagol nga gum to make an edible modeling paste. So, next is pre-made icing sheets with printed design so kaning pre-made icing sheets with printed design so makita rin nato siya yung ato ni siyang ipaprint like para ato ibutang sa top sa tong cake para nice sa tanaw di ba kaya maglisod din itag buhat og kuan ba decorating like that ba pero ato na na siyang ipaprint so that is pre-made icing sheets with printed de design so next is dusted icing sugar well very simple this can be a very effective on the right type of cake. So, effective din is as a right type of cake, especially where the cake is constitution is already sufficient rich without adding icing or frosting. So, muna ang dusted icing cake, di lindi siya rich gudo siya, karang di na kailangan ng butangan paglay mga design. Kasi, so, very rich talaga siya, karang nice na kaya siya tanahon ba? So, next is, think beyond, beyond icing or frosting. 
There are many others mean there are many other means for decorating cakes besides icing or frosting. You can be used such as items in combination with icing, adding them direct to the cake. This includes so money like includes niya ang fruit, flowers, cream, candies, drizzled cup, chocolate, dusted cocoa, or other chocolate. So nuts, stressful topping, toffee strand shape or shapes, coconut and jam or preserve. So fruit, fresh fruit piece. So kailangan din nato ug mga fresh nga fruit. Yeah, flowers, edible flowers can make a cake appear very elegant. So cream, so cream candies next. So next is. You can see that that the picture of the include that the nuts, tafen, or cocoa, and jam preserves. So, for our layer cake, spread from frosting or filling over the frost, or filling over the fruit cake layer, then put the next layer on the top. Press down this layer lightly to ensure that the cake sticks to the filling with no air space and space in between. So, kailangan de walay air ngap makawan sa cake inig butang ni mo kay kung naay cake kay magburut burut na siya so ice the cake on the cake board to prevent accidents in trans transferring so kailangan ato siyang ice para mo gahi sa mo gahi gahi siya kada para nag transfer na to dili siya mahulog di ba so hold the spatula vertically against the sides of the cake and press lightly while turning the cake around so ato siyang inig tuyok na to atong gamita ug spatula to minimize difficulty in making the frosting smooth Choose any of the following. So, use a cake cam to create design and smoothening out the icing. Use the tines or a cork to make lines or curve. Mo na tong gamiton. Good everyone, especially to instructor Mr. Rolando Laurenti Jr. I am Gabino Pacheco. So today we will talk about the identification of standard recipes of icing and decoration for spans and cakes. Buttercream icing, 125 grams insulated butter and soft tin, 1 in 1 half cups equivalent to 240 grams icing sugar sifted, 2 tablespoons milk, beat butter in a small bowl with electric mixer until white as possible, gradually beat in a half the icing sugar, milk then remaining icing sugar, flavor and color as desired. Buttercream is made by creaming butter until filled with icing sugar, vanilla, and milk. This of buttery icing can be spread over a cake of pipe into patterns. It can also be flavored with color or chocolate and is perfect for small cakes, like cupcakes or on sapanadira. Pundant. Burst the cake lightly and evenly with jam. Roll a pundant to the side thickness, then lift, lift onto a cake using a rolling pin. Smooth the surface with hand dusted with icing sugar, a space of fondant around side and base of cake. Trim excess fondant with a sharp knife. So, kinalang ganyan mo siyang ilibil ang sikat kilid yun niya. Huwag magbutang, huwag mag-add na buong mga pandraon sa nga icing, sa kilid, sa cake. Huwag nindot sa din mo mga decoration sa kilid, like kung sa nga design mo ang gusto sa nga mga customer. Buta ni mo sa kilid. Kinalanin doon kasi up sa iyo kaya. Merang. So, first thing is made from egg whites, custard sugar, and water. So, using a hand-held electric beater, whisk egg whites in the bowl over a saucepan of simmering water until very stiff. In a separate pan, dissolve the sugar in water and boil to pour 5 to 15 minutes until the liquid is thick and syrupy and has reached the ganache 300 ml cream 600 grams chocolate so boil cream then remove from the heat add the chopped chocolate and mix until the ganache is smooth allow the icing to cook completely before using and if it's too hard gently heat in the microwave to return the spreadable consistency this rich chocolate icing is made from either white or dark chocolate and cream Ganache can look shiny or meat is also used as peeling or pipe into decorations. White chocolate ganache can be tinted. 
Avoid pairing the nuts with a light cake such as delicate sponge as this cake icing needs a cake that it won't overpower such as mud cakes or an almond bun cake. Vanilla sponge cake. One of the most basic cake recipes you must have on hand when you start baking from scratch is just vanilla cake. This simple, easy, and effortless vanilla sponge cake. It is moist with the soup crumb and melt in your mouth. Made with delicious butter and plain all-purpose flour. It also a very versatile cake. You can use it one frosting as well as peelings such as strawberry, blueberry, or other fruit peelings. One of my favorite cake peeling with this is a custard or pastry cream peeling. Sponge cake. This easy sponge cake recipe is delicious and quick to make. My light and moist vanilla sponge cake is super versatile. It can be used to make layered birthday cakes, strawberry shortcakes, triples, ice bucket cakes, mini desserts, and more. That will be all. Thank you.